it's because of your unwavering grace i know that sounds like what yes your grace is so gracefully amazing and people are watching you they're kind of and i get the vibe that the people you want to be interested in you the person you want this is a specific person yes i'm loving that s p energy coming through this reading for you taurus yeah they are yeah they're waiting for you they're watching you you inspire this person <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, you literally cannot make this stuff up. That's why I'm like, I just shuffle. I'm the messenger. Don't shoot me. Okay. This person, I'm hearing like, you're my muse. You fascinate me. Okay. Automatically. This is giving romantic vibes. This is giving chemistry. <sighs> like, you and this person, I'm hearing, like, are sent from heaven. It's just, I don't know which angel this is. It might be Archangel Michael. Anyway, the alchemy here this balance even your your body chemistry matches like your hormones and <laughs> uh, this is really primal but like spiritual you are attracting this type of energy this someone is definitely feeling way more spiritual than they're letting on when it comes to you Taurus this could be a Gemini Aquarius Libra Cancer Pisces Scorpio really strong Sagittarius okay Sun Moon Rising Venus or Mercury sometimes I'd be rocking with a Mercury oh wow okay so you might have cut this person off or you might have said something kind of offensive to this person, but it was like, it was perfect. It's almost as if you can do no wrong. You leave this lasting impression on someone. I really did not intend for this to be a romantic reading, but there was just something about this Knight of Cups that stood out to me. And it just makes me feel like this is romantic. This this is a romantic gesture. Like someone is really seeing you and your empress energy. And it doesn't matter. It's like, okay, you know, you could feel kind of not so privileged, not really feeling like an empress, but maybe this person has some sort of you know fantasy of being with someone who isn't noble or who doesn't come why am i talking like this i feel i'm getting the energy of like past life energy okay where it's like this person i definitely feel like they have a lot to offer yeah and like money is not a thing to this person finances it's not it's not an issue for them but what they really want is somebody to love. That's what I'm hearing. And if you're really looking for love, you're attracting this love with someone. It's not going to be easy because when you're attracting someone who's so great and you have this strong chemistry with them, there are other people that are like kind of a match to this energy as well so there might be some sort of either you or this person there could be some sort of conflict 
going on be like with between you and someone else I don't want to say like oh it's just their career I do see two feminines here okay we have the Empress and we have the Queen of Cups even if this person is, in, is seeing you embody this energy it doesn't matter it doesn't matter because there it's so easy for this person to get distracted or to focus on other things but somehow you're just showing up as this empress and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter i'm also getting that they could be seeing signs and synchronicities about you it could be driving them like literally crazy and there is this sort of energy word they're like well, I wish I could have because I feel like this is a message that like maybe you already know or you need to know. Really strong Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Yes, Virgo energy is also coming through. It's just with time. Pulling back your energy was the best thing you could have done in this situation. I feel like it made this person have no choice but to see you as someone who stands out. It's like you stand out. It's like you don't blend in with the crowd. You're different. There is something so divine about you. And honestly, I feel like this person really likes to be a loner. I feel like they like being alone. But it's something about your holiness, your... Your makeup must be like amazing. Your hair must look good. Some of you definitely have blonde hair. Some of you um, have red hair. Some of you like color your hair like a specific color. Doesn't have to be blonde, but I am seeing that here. And I'm seeing that there's just something about you. You, I'm just hearing that like you're perfect. And I don't know why I'm hearing demure. I do not. I'm not. I don't even know. I don't talk like this. Okay. So maybe your style is demure. This looks like demure fashion. And they love your fashion. They love how discreet you are. There's something about you that makes this person feel like they want to settle down. If you aren't already in a connection or a relationship with this person. For some of you, this is incredibly new but from the moment you meet this person you just feel something really strong and spiritual that is not in your mind i feel that you know you should pursue this you know i feel that you should Let this person pursue you because they really want to, but they're intimidated by you. There's something so intimidating by you, and I get it because we do have a page and an empress, okay? But I just feel that there is this spiritual power that's backing this person, whoever this is. Who is this that's coming in? I just really need to... To see who this is. Okay. This could be a Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. This is just somebody that it's like. <laughs> there we go. That's my point. With the sun card in reverse. I kind of get the vibe, Taurus, that there was a block or some type of dishonest communication, okay, or just miscommunication. This could very well have been via text, okay, or either online, so... Let's just see. I, either way, I just get the vibe that this person is constantly seeing signs and synchronicities of, about you. 
And there is this boredom, I feel. Like, I get the vibe from this person. It's like, they're so bored. What am I going to do next? What's, what's next in life? I want to circle back around and go. Oh, my God. I definitely want to circle back around. <laughs> I have thought about this and it's like, oh, I made such a huge mistake. And like my 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 efforts to to like be young, wild and free. It, it's not working out. So, yeah, whoever this is, this this energy is coming back full circle. I guess that in a way that they felt yeah, they know that the ball is now in their court. So you don't have to do anything. Honestly, I don't get that you need to do anything. Just <sighs> look at that. I just love it. The world card in reverse. Talk about cycles. Talk about timing. Talk about you being on the come up from their, you know, piggyback, you know, it's like they realized that what they were looking for on the other side of the world, it was never real. It was all an illusion. Home is where the heart is. Okay. So this is also giving a really strong Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aquarius energy. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay? This energy is coming back to you. They want to come home to you. They want to be up under you. And for sure, there must have been some serious blockages via communication confusion someone here could have even been drunk texting i'm just saying like chill out with that try not to drunk text okay um it never ends well all right it usually does not okay so yeah it's like this person really They have a lot to offer. This person could speak multiple languages. This could be someone who likes to travel. This energy. It's like you deserve it. So if, you, if you're feeling lucky and you're feeling like the stars are aligned in your favor, it's because you deserve it. You've been such a great Samaritan, a great friend, a great mother a great father, auntie, uncle, cousin. Do you really have been? Really strong Libra energy coming through. And it's like your, your emotional intelligence is unmatched. And that's how healing your energy is. And that's why you deserve something amazing from someone unique someone interesting and someone who i mean this literally they could they could work in any field from creative to wall street marketing um tech i'm just saying judiciary this is hilarious. I just love when I see this. I love when I see this. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Someone try to basically tell you, like, you, you could never have this. Or, like, you could never have this, like, sexy, sophisticated love lover. Okay? Mm, for some of you, it's a really hot mom. Okay? <laughs> Maybe it's your baby mom. I don't know. But for some of you, yeah, it's like this hot, sexy, even vixen. Yeah. Try to tell you like, oh, you'll never be that. You'll never be, you know, you'll never make it. 
you know, your plans, your plans never fall through or, you know, all you do is talk a lot. The Emperor Reverse can talk a lot, but ain't saying nothing, you know, but it's like, no, you, you're not. It's just, it's impeccable. Your timing is impeccable. And you're, regardless as to what they say, you're just going to keep being on top. You're going to keep being on top of your game. And you're going to keep attracting and manifesting the life of your dreams. Because I feel that your karma is like in check. And I don't even talk like that. You know, we have our issues of, you know, that's a whole other subject about karma but that is a channel message for someone your karma is literally it's like it's golden it's like top shelf and that's why you're getting everything you want it's coming to you so fast you're just you're so graceful but also you are you are fierce as well you're laying down the law and the law needs to be laid down sometimes because, you know, <sighs> I can't tell you how many bitches be outside. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, mm, I'm loving this energy for you. If you have been feeling kind of stuck, like maybe not taking invitations to go outside, and smell the roses. Maybe that's when you're going to run into this love of your life. You're safe. You are loved. It's okay about the past. Just don't stay there. Don't let the past keep you locked in to any sort of like emotional trauma. And really avoid people that try to come in into your energy fields and sabotage your boundaries keep your boundaries solid okay you have them up for a very good reason because this is what matters not this you get what i'm saying yeah well that's what i have for today taurus that's the wave that's the vibe Namaste. Let me know what your intuition is telling you about this reading in the comments and I'll see you next time. Until then, namaste.